electric wire. I'm gonna take a look at Ophidian 2350. The CCG, I think it's dead again. Um, it was over CCG, I think it was like 2050 maybe. So a company remade it, uh, really by FLIR. So this is the 03 version, so I don't know if it's a remake or not. But we're gonna open it up, take a look at it. Kind of a lot going on, I think, in this game. So we're just gonna unbox it, take a look at the components, see if it's something you might be interested in checking out. All right, here we have Ophidian 2350, collectible card game, two player starter set. Some art there. Two 30 card decks. One Cybernetic Psy and War deck. One Mystic Biotech and Portal deck. Two foil cards, a playmat, rule book. One Freak Show intro by Lauren Coleman. You can put in dice for tracking life. 35 counters and four counter cards. So, right there, all that counter stuff is kind of a turnoff for me personally in a, in a card game. I like them more um, self-contained. So at least they give you everything. So there's that. So let's open it up. Okay. So here are your two decks. Then they give you some nice six-sided dice. You got blue and black there. So it looks like four for each player. And this is D6 is nice, so you can pick those up anywhere in case you lose them. Here's your counter card, which I, mm, I'm not a big fan of these, especially since they're kind of unique. I mean, you can make shift to make your own counters, but still, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that. But they don't look bad, so I will give them that. It doesn't look bad. The instruction book. CCGs, of course, have pretty... I think hefty instruction booklets on average. It's no different. You have your flow chart here. So you got positive flow actions, need flow to keep flow, card abilities, advancing tracking, negative flow actions, undetermined flow actions, responses, and passing. So flow, regenerate, maintain, promote, maneuver. Quite a bit going on there, I think. I don't really have good storage for these cars, but I think we might, we might open them up. We're gonna find some place to put them. Um, let's see. Comes a play mat. It's probably gonna be extremely helpful in this game, I think. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty big. Oh my goodness, look at all this text. So you have your how to place on both sides. Um, yeah, that's uh, quite a bit going on. Even for like a reference guide, that's a lot on the sheet, I think. I mean, start the fight. I mean, you got paragraphs. I do like this poster on the back. So this is the back of the, um, the play mat. It's pretty cool art. So that's kind of cool. But so flip it over. You want to play? Oh man. So I mean, I appreciate that you put the stuff on the play mat. So that's. It's always good to reference that, so then going back to the book, and both people, both players can see it. Uh, so here you have, this is like the middle, I'm guessing the battlefield here. And then you have, it looks like, Looks like you have an action field, a support field, and then your, I assume this is the battle zone. So you have action, supporters, battle zone. You have some kind of check, or you have cheer over here. You have your funeral, you have your 
can't read that upside down. What's it over here? Oh, scrap heap. So graveyard, scrap heap, two different things. Um, you have a little counter over here. And so this is your cheer. That's their cheer. Not sure what cheer is. It's probably like mana. So. Playmat's awfully busy on this side. It's okay on this side. Um, I guess it has the type of cards that can go on there, which is okay. Yeah, just to give me an idea. I'll read the player one. Start the fight. Player one. You will play a strategy card. Spike fist. It costs three, which means you will pay three from your current CP. Cheer pool, I'm guessing. Of 11. Move the counter off the one on your counter card and place it on the side somewhere. Then slide the counter from 10 to 8. Now you have 8. Put spike fist under striking dragon so that you can still read its name. Oh my goodness. Now Striking Dragon's attack is more powerful, but since Spike Fist was negative flow action, you lose the flow, which means a second player gets to go. So that right there is a messy paragraph in general. I mean, it tells you what to do. <laughs> so it's equipment cards, you put it under so you can see the card, I'm, I'm guessing. All right, so here's the play match. We've seen that. So far, my favorite part of the game is this back poster. Now, if I can, I'm just going to look at these top cards because I don't feel like I'm packing them. So this is a Gladiator, Seeker of Shadows. Uh, one VP, which I'm getting victory point. Looks like maybe six to life. Uh, R, maybe a response. Unburden, while set. Something, reduce the cost of a something card by one to a minimum of zero. So she reduced the cost of something else to come out. Like attack damage is one. That is Gladiator, Seeker of Shadows, Terra. And on the other deck, you have Little Jinx, Alice Jinx. Looks like she has eight life, um, one four defense, maybe one damage. Like she can tap, roll d6 on a one. To do a one damage to target gladiator, you control. Wait, to you control. One next damage, so maybe one attack. Three to six, deal one damage to target gladiator. Or maybe not. So maybe ones and twos is not good. Three to six, you do a free damage. So the arm of the card is okay. It's all right. I'll see if I can find some more starter cards online and put the art up so you can see. Because I don't, I really don't want to pop these open because I don't have deck boxes for this. And even though I probably am not going to play it, maybe but once, or I'll just leave them in the in the wrap. So you do get what you need to play: two thirty card starter decks, your big play mat, some counters, and some dice. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't play play. I'm sure, pretty sure I didn't pay under over 10 bucks for this but if there's something you're interested in like i said this is the 2350 version i believe there is a earlier version with an earlier um date i think it's 2050 maybe or something like that i don't know but that's ophidian collectible card name a 55 page rule book so I mean it's easy to read text but it, there is a lot of it 